Hey everybody, welcome to Josh Fam. You like my shirt? It's yellow. Yellow is my color. I don't know, I just bought the shirt for this specific video. We're talking about Jess Fam today. We're diving a little bit deeper into her past. There's a video I've had in my docket for like over a year since I started talking about Jess Fam. And it is Drake, her ex baby daddy of the twins, or the three, I don't know. It's, I don't even know, like it's, you need a freaking, you need goodwill hunting to come in here and do all like the math about how like Jess Fam's life works. But basically Drake is her second baby daddy that had like twins and then it's, I don't know. It is what it is. He's telling his story. This is a long time ago, but a lot of people have been asking me to cover it. And so I'm going to cover it because I feel like Jess fans getting a little bit worse. She's kind of grasping and doing a lot of like really weird clickbait stuff similar to our life. And it's just getting like icky, but let's dive into her past a little bit more because that's important. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't know anything about Drake, neither do I, except that he came into my uh, Instagram and uh, came at me calling me all these names and that I'm exploiting kids and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, well, I hope that you say the same thing to your ex baby mama because she does that. I just take the videos and show you. This argument that people have all the time is like, aren't you exploiting kids too, Josh? Aren't you doing the same thing? No, because I'm showing you how bad it is. And if I don't show you, you won't understand but I'm not the one who put it out there. Also, do you realize that your argument also means that you're against exploitation? So thanks for that. It's really, really bad quality. It looks like you filmed it on a calculator, but. All right, guys. Well, there's this video I promised y'all. Who did you promise? Yeah, I'm sorry for who did he promise? And also, this isn't on YouTube anywhere. You have to find this on Vimeo, probably on a link that he didn't even know existed. Um, so I don't know when this was there's no time stamp on it so i don't know um sorry if it's like way off topic and i bounce around just because i'm saying whatever i remember it's a lot so okay and uh start by saying everything i say is my side of the story and i have no reason to lie none i'll say my downfalls but everything i say is the truth you can believe it or not i don't care i'm just gonna put this one video out there and it, that's it all right so i get that and he has no reason to lie. It's true. And he's going to say, look, I'm bad too. Hopefully he admits that he did the same thing. But I think he had to do this video, obviously, because Jess Fan was throwing him under the bus on her channel that was likely growing. Probably wasn't as big as it was now. But he's probably like, oh my gosh, I got to get ahead of this. She keeps, you know, putting me down and painting me to be this monster. And that's, she's, he's probably getting messages from people, probably getting a bunch of hate and all the stuff. He's like, look, I'm going to, I know th the thing about Jess fam. It's her weakness is that every single person in Jess fam circle eventually turns on her. She had her best friend for years and years and years who now hates her guts and they hate each other. People are wondering where the heck, what's her face is the other lady there with the husband who's like 185 years old. Where's she now? Like, this is what happens in Jess fam circle. She doesn't realize the thing that she builds crumbles when everybody that supports her falls down behind falls under her. She's built herself up on top of people. When those people leave, she crashes. That's kind of how that works. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking here. He just had to come out and say, look, I can't take this anymore. Um, okay. Start off with the first time me and Jessica were married. Um, twins not planned. She may say they were, they were not. Okay. Excellent. I assumed that they were okay. I, so I have to retract that. I think that I thought that Jess fam was doing this and I'm not saying it was just the twins, but maybe for all the kids, I think that there's part of the kids that come into the picture that she did do for more clout, more money. But why would she lie about that being planned or not planned? Why, why, why is that a lie? Why does he say they weren't planned? And she says they are planned or were they planned by Jess fam? If you know what I'm saying, do you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Maybe he didn't plan them, but Jess had different plans, is what I'm saying. She was supposed to be on birth control. She told me she was on birth control. Uh, that's no excuse. She so I'm... <laughs> okay. It's a pretty big deal what he's saying right here. She told me she's on birth control. She was not on birth control, or it failed, whatever the case may be. And she says it's planned because she wants... Okay, this is a big deal because if you think about this for a second, if you tell somebody something specifically in this world where you're like sleeping with people and you say, yeah, I'm using protection or I am birth control. If a guy says, yes, I'm using protection or not. And he doesn't 
Like, let's just take that for example. A guy and a girl decide to do the things, okay? And she's like, do you have protection? And he says, yes. But what if he doesn't? What if in the middle of something, he decides to take off the protection or whatever the case may be and you don't notice? Isn't that considered assault? Is that, I, I think the new idea of consent and everything else, that would not be consensual at that point if that guy decided to take away the protection. That's assault. Some would consider it R or SA. I'm not saying I'm there, but I think the world would probably, some people would be there. So if a woman does the same thing, is that not the same thing? I use protection, duh, but I, you said I didn't use protection. Guy, I wasn't thinking, I was thinking with the wrong head. You can say whatever you want. Um, okay. Again, if he assumes she's on birth control, then they've made this pact and this consensual thing to say, okay, well, I don't need to use protection because you are on birth control. Do we agree to these terms? And she's likely says yes. I mean, it's they're not writing contracts and shit, but that's like, it's like the, the, the agreement, the unwritten, the unsaid agreement, right? And she clearly wasn't. And then she told the world that they were planned. So what does that tell you guys? That's a big deal right now. She supposedly missed a couple pills. Um, I'm gonna find out, boom, pregnant, twins. Well, here's me, um, fresh in a relationship, don't really know her all that well. So yes, yeah, so you're in fresh in a relationship with someone you don't know very well. She missed a couple of pills, so he says. Again, this has to come down to, I have to find Jess fam where she said that they're planned because if she does say that outright in any of her videos, that the twins are planned, then that means that is assault. That is SA. I don't, I know that. And people are like, oh, you're rolling your eyes. And I get that. I understand that P people don't want that to be the case, but imagine it was the other way around. That is an agreed upon consensual thing that she didn't do in order to do this. So that I need to get to the bottom of that. Okay. I'm having kids. Well, obviously now I got to marry her. Um, oh, please. No. <laughs> okay. Just because you have children, you've impregnated somebody does not mean that you need to marry them. That is not a solution to anything, everybody. Look at OK Baby. Not a solution. Okay, look at Jess Fam. Not a solution. Look at Weiss Life. Not a solution. Look at LeBrant's. Not a solution, everybody. Not a solution. Please stop saying that. I thought I was doing the right thing. Um, I was young. Um, I grew up with separate parents, separate parents. So I never wanted my kids to grow up with separate parents. So that's when I decided, you know what? I've, Mission accomplished, bro. <laughs> okay. I gotta marry her. I gotta do the right thing. I gotta be the man. You no, know, I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, got married. I cheated. Mm -hmm. There's no excuses. Um, I messed up. I was young. I didn't. wasn't thinking. I was just doing whatever. No excuses. Here's some excuses. Okay. Yeah. So he say he just cheated. He's he he has he's not very good at talking, which is fine. I'm trying to catch up here. So he cheated. No excuses. But here's some excuses. I was young. Um, okay. But he said, he said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell you all about my downfall and everything else. He cheated. So he admits it. So right there, I think that just like the thing about Jess fam is that she thinks she has a lot of ammo on people and she does, but those people have way more ammo in her. That's the problem. People with cameras in their house and shit like that. All the stuff that went down, the allegations from Janelle to Chris and everything else. They have way more on you, Jess, than you have on anybody else. And again, if you live your life where you have to collect dirt on your friends in order to survive later on, you're doing it wrong. That's what I wanted. Um, so I did what I did. Um, we ended up uh, splitting up because of that. Mm -hmm. um, well, she was yes, yeah, she was pregnant with the twins. Um, we split up, whatever. Um, Come to find out we're split up. She was like eight months pregnant, seven months pregnant. I'm going to stop you there, there, douchebag face here. Uh, you know, I don't like Jess, and you guys know that. But if you do this, if you're a dude who's like, oh, I want to step up, I don't want my kids to grow up without a father, and then cheat on the mother of your children while she's pregnant, I mean, there's not a lot that's, you know, that's grosser than that. So I know he's just trying to gloss it over. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to, like, harp on it. That is gross. So Jess Fam had a right to be angry at that point. Of course she did, right? She's not, she, Jess Fam is the victim in the situation. But if it is true that she entrapped him or whatever, or lied to him about birth control, that is a big deal too. Those are two huge lies. He did something betray, he betrayed her in, in a huge way and she betrayed him in a huge way. Already this is starting out to be obviously the most toxic relationship on earth probably. And we know that she hates him, but for some reason he's still loyal to her. I don't know what it is. 
it's it's an enigma wrapped in a mystery wrapped in this pineapple okay i know <laughs> it's just it's like david blaine level shit i got it no okay all right bye. huge that's why did you guys see that video she's huge humongous um she had slept around with uh, a dude um really pregnant um like super <laughs> So she, he, you can't hear it. He said she had slept around with a dude being really, really pregnant. Seen her. She's super pregnant, like big with twins. Um, that's not a lie. I'm not going to say his name. Um, but he knows and she knows. Um, is he accusing Jess Fem here of cheating as well? Because it sounds like what he's trying to do is say she also slept around. But what it sounds like is she found out he was cheating and then she rebounded or tried to get him back by sleeping with another dude that he apparently knows. Right. Seems like it's a uh, retaliate retaliatory. Do you know what I'm saying? So he's saying she's huge, very pregnant and sleeping around with this other guy likely to get back at me or whatever the case may be. Jess fam is a high driver type of person. We know that we've heard her conversations about her life, her sex life. Okay. She's very high, very highly driven. That's how many kids she has. Okay. Can't keep it in her pants. So that's fine. You got a high drive. That's cool. Good for you. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Please. That was really hard for me. Almost lost it. That's just because that's gross. Like those are my kids inside there. You know? Oh, it's nasty. why would you like? What kind of person would do that? You know? Oh, he's upset. So she didn't. So I'm. This is the way I'm gathering it. Sorry, I'm putting it all together for you guys. She didn't cheat. He did, but she went behind his or she went then retaliatorily slept with this other guy, and he's all angry because she's got his babies in her, and like to the point where she's probably popping and she's doing things with another guy. Yeah, I see that, but you lost... I mean, this guy has no leg to stand on anyway. To be honest with you, both these people are disgusting as far as I'm seeing now. Like, it just keeps getting worse with Jess Fam. But that's... You, dude, you don't have a leg to stand. You can't get angry at that. You did the worst thing you could do to a woman, you dingleberry. Like, she makes herself seem so perfect on these videos. Oh, she's a perfect mom. She's, she's the role model. You guys know nothing behind closed doors. All you know is what she posts on here in these videos. Yep, we know. We all know. We've heard. Um... That's another thing. I never like these videos. I'm be hundred percent. I never like these videos. A lot of times on these videos that she was posting, this is me. This is how I act. I don't, I don't act nowhere near how they were on those videos. I hated the videos. So I'm right. So what he's doing, he's saying here is that I hated the way that she portrayed me on her videos. I'm not like the way that she says. And Jess makes. Ah. Sorry, my mustache hair is going into my nostril. I'm sorry. So Jess Fem paints the picture of him of Gabe. No. What's his name? Drake of Drake. I can't, even, I can't even keep it straight. She paints the picture of Drake on her channel. Like Drake's the com the worst thing on earth. If I have time and I might pay, you know, a person to do this for me because it's just easier is to go through all of her videos and decipher and to break down everything she's ever said about Drake. Don't forget. Drake is still the dad of these children, right? And he's saying, I don't like the way she talks about me. I'm not like that. And we know that Jess is a huge liar. Okay. Like, and she will throw anybody under the bus to make herself look better. That's just the way it is. These family vloggers, all their skeletons come out of the closet sooner or later, and they cannot be perfect. They cannot portray them. They cannot be the person that they portray. That's half the reason I talk about these people, because they're showing you something they can't even achieve. And it's all based on a lie. And people are literally trying to be like that. Impossible. I still hate the videos. The reason I'm doing this is because this is the only way I can say one thing without having to reply back to a thousand comments. Not everyone can just see this one thing, this one video. Mm-hmm. No. Um, okay. Anyways, back to the subject. She had uh, slipped around when she was seven, eight months pregnant with a dude, um, with the twins. Mm -hmm. I ended up free for that. I went to marriage counseling. I was like, you know what? I'm better myself. I'm going to marriage counseling. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Be a better man. While I was going to marriage counseling, she cheated on me again. Okay, so he missed a point here. We went to marriage counseling, he said. So it sounds like they got back together. And then he just said she cheated on me again. So we went to marriage counseling. He needed to clear that up. We got back together. We decided to go to counseling. That's what he should have said. I, he didn't make that clear. And then she cheated on me again, he said. Well, she cheated on me. Not again. She cheated on me. Okay. With um, her best friend's boyfriend. Boyfriend's best friend. Excuse me? Did, did, the, did the threads know about this? That's that's a pretty big deal. I didn't even know that she cheated on Gabe with her best friend's man. Oh, no, I think we didn't know about it. Didn't we hear that Jess put out a, a thing where she apologized for it all and she was so angry. I had nothing I can say that we did. We did know that. I did know she's got so many scandals. It's hard to keep track when she was going to just hang out with her friend. That's um, 
if you, as a person, if you can do that to your best friend, if you can sleep with your best friend's spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever the case may be, I, I have no idea how a human being can do something like that. I, I have no idea how a human can do that to another human. And the fact that Jess did that, if he's correct, allegedly, and we, yes, she probably did. Um, he did it too, though. Don't, don't, these two people are both the most toxic, disgusting people on earth. But if you can do that, and then come across on a family vlog like you're Miss Perfect, you got to, no, sorry. You don't get to live that that uh, that visual, that optic. You you lose. They also would go hang out with their friends, go bowling, have a girl's night, and would go to a club and be dancing on guys. And um... At eight months pregnant, dancing on guys at a dance club? That's classy. Classy. I know people are like, slut shaming. Look, hands up if you were pregnant. Okay, on my channel, you you follow me, most of you are ladies. If you're eight months pregnant, are you going to go grind on guys in a dance club? Just hands up. I'm sorry, it's trashy. I think that's like a common sense, common knowledge that if you do that, ew. That's, and I don't care what you say. That's that's just what I believe. Getting numbers and all this stuff while I was going to marriage counseling to better myself. Okay, there you cleared it up. He was going to marriage counseling, so he was going to see a couple's counselor without the other person in the couple. So like he was trying to get better or she said, go see a counselor and we'll get back together. So he did that. It doesn't sound like they're going together. The only way that couples counseling is going to work is if the couple goes, do you know what I mean? Like the, they all have to be there. I, I think. Okay. And, um, her excuse for doing these things was that was the only way I could forgive you for what you did to me was to go and do those things. That was her excuse. Did I say that? I called that. So she did it. She did it out of anger, out of wanting to get back at retribution. That's don't live your life like that, guys. That's so dangerous. Like, what if you get STIs and like, how is it going to, how is it going to prove him? How are you going to prove yourself to somebody else by going to get an STI? And then you stuck with that for the rest of your life. Yeah. You really showed him. Together a second time. Okay. Thank you. Got remarried. Got everything was done with. So dumb. I'm sorry, everybody. You got to listen to both these people tell their stories. Jess Fam lives in the world on TikTok where she's like, five baby, five babies, 10 baby daddies. Da, da, and she's like celebrates and all this stuff. Married four times. So she's married to the first dude who's on the podcast now. Gabe, I think his name is. Or wasn't married. I don't know. Then got pregnant with this guy. They got married. Then got divorced, which I don't know if they got fully divorced. Because it sounds like it wasn't even a year later. I think you can just like dissolve it somehow legally. So it doesn't cost you a lot of money. Get back together, married again after he cheats on her. And then she goes out and does the things to get him back. And then they get remarried. Is this, does this sound like people who make good choices to use? Does this sound like people who should be exploiting their children online who make good choices? Do you think that Jess makes any good choices? Do you think Jess is honest about the choices she makes about saving her kids money and stuff like that? The more and more that you peel back the onions of Jess fam, the more you realize there's just no way she is who she says she is. And everybody in her life is toxic too. And those who are not leave her toxic ass later on, even though they did experience, did experiment all the toxicity as well. Jess fam's world is chaotic, right? You know, my story, the chaos, the chaos is bad for kids. That chaos, the drinking, the partying, the drugs, the the threesomes, all that kind of stuff, the sexual escapades, everything else is chaotic. Traveling all the time, kids not in school half the time, moving, putting all the stuff up, just doing vlogs for life, that's called chaos. That's what kids like me who grew up in, in, in with, with all that shit, the chaos is what kills these kids. The chaos is what throws them through loops. The chaos destroys them. Jess fam is chaos. Right, there we go. Pregnant with Landon. I literally could not take it anymore. She was controlling. Mm -hmm. She is crazy in the head. If something didn't go her way, that's it. Panda Express intensifies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jess Fam doesn't like confrontation there. What's your face? Uh, Gabe or Drake? Drake? Drabe? Uh, she doesn't like confrontation, though. She says it. She hates confrontation. So I don't believe you. It's over with. Thought, uh, she runs everything. Yeah. Everything. She runs her, her whole family. She runs mm -hmm. her whole household. Mm -hmm. Whatever Jessica wants is what Jessica gets. Are you sure? I don't know if I believe you. I mean, yeah, she does have Jess fam on her wall. I do see that. I get it. And she does talk about how she's, you know, the, the sole breadwinner and that Chris doesn't do anything and he has an allowance. And she does talk about that. She talks about how it's all been her. Yeah, I know. 
I don't believe you, though. I believe you. She can't be told no. Um, I, just, I couldn't take it anymore. We were fighting so often, so bad in front of the kids that it was mm-hmm. it was terrible. It mm-hmm. was terrible. I like got to the point where I just I just couldn't take it anymore. I was like, you know what? I'd rather not be together mm-hmm. and our kids be happier than us be together and then be scared because we're fighting and arguing so loud so much that they're just they're they're, they're, they're kids they're little they don't want to see that why would I want my kids around that trauma I grew up with that when I was little I don't want them to be around that that's horrible that's horrible so- this guy's painting himself to be a saint he's guys he's not a saint so don't be don't be here like oh poor drizzle no sorry dude you're a dick too, and you know it. You are just as much to blame as, as Jess Fam here. Also, if Jess Fam's correct, and I mean, you got to take away everything Jess Fam says of the grain of salt, but why would you lie about this? But he's not in their life. And I think Janelle said the same thing. Janelle confirmed that this guy has nothing to do with them for like most of their life. And Jess Fam was even saying in her chats and trying to get information from people how do I do this? He doesn't want to be there. So this guy is a dick bag. Of course, this is his side. He wants to paint himself in a better light. I get that. But don't forget who these these are the two most toxic people on earth. Oh, well, that's when I left when she was playing with Landon. That's the reason why I left because I couldn't we could not get along. Just okay, but what's Jess? Anybody tell me <laughs> why did Jess say that they broke up because he cheated again or something? We were too young. We got into a situation we shouldn't have been in. We weren't ready for everything that was on the plate. I wasn't ready, and she can say she was ready, but dang well, she was not ready at all so that's why we split up he doesn't mention lily at all he doesn't mention the the oldest girl at all i don't hear any mention of her it's interesting because like i got together this girl who already had kids there's no mention of that very interesting because it was better for our kids if we split up to be for them to be happier in the future okay i think that's what was best um things weren't getting better they're just getting worse um, you said that. So it's Beppa Landon. Um, she, once again, was very much pregnant with Landon, big, um, was sleeping around again while she was pregnant with Landon with somebody that, uh, I'm not, I, 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 I'm not going to say dude's name, but uh, she did it again with, with Landon. Um, I found out. Uh, she'll deny it though she's blue in the face. I seen I seen the texts. I, I, I So he's accusing her of sleeping around when land pregnant again. Jess, can you just chill till the kids I mean just relax? Again, sounds like Jess fam is un- is insatiable. She can't help herself. She's probably addicted to sex. Right? This is a thing that people have. There are people who are addicted to it. And it sounds like Jess is addicted to sex. I mean, look at the, t- the conversations she's had, the threesomes and everything else. Regular people don't do that stuff, everybody. And I know that's like, people are like, don't slut shame people. No, go do it. If you are a consenting adult and you're not hurting anybody and you are being safe and everything, just go for it. Like, power to the people, right? But I'm just, I mean, from a regular p- point of view, from normal people, this isn't normal, everybody. You don't do that. So I don't care what you say. He's upset because she moved on probably really quickly. He doesn't have a leg to stand on because he does the same damn thing. But it's just this idea like, Jess, you have three kids at this point. How are you going out and just doing things when you have three kids to take care of? Right? That's where it all comes in. Jess's mom was taking care of these kids while Jess is out partying while pregnant. Again, this is why teenagers, please, please stop encouraging teenagers to have children and grow up so fast. They cannot handle the stress or the freedom of, of a normal adult. They can't do it because they do shit like this. Kids need to s- just let, I'm so sick of this world. Over adulting kids way too fast. Just let kids be kids for the love of God. We need to be, we need to be okay with that. We need to not say that that's a shaming thing anymore. Let kids effing just be kids again. I mean, I see it all. I mean, that's, it's just disgusting. Um, maybe some people it's not it's just whatever the, the baby won't feel it or whatever it's, it's just gross you don't do that it's um, not science and like I said that's stupid <laughs> I'm sorry dude is he, is he upset because he thinks the guy's poking his kid with their wiener to poking his kid with their wiener is that what he thinks is going on there? okay dude stay at school everybody it's, it's, it's gonna get ugly me, t- me saying all this stuff but I'm tired of uh, everyone thinking that she's the perfect person that she does nothing wrong uh, she knows so much 
Yeah, she may be a, she may be a, she's just she's a decent mom. Don't get me wrong, she takes good care of the kids. She does what she needs to do for them, but she's not perfect. Nowhere near perfect. Okay, um, she would go out to the bars and the clubs, and yeah, she put the kids to sleep. You know, the boys went to sleep, and she dropped Landon off at her friend's house, so her so her friend's mom could watch her. What? Where where are the twins in this? Where's Lily in all this? She has three, four kids at this point, Lilia, the twins, and Landon, and she's dropping Landon off at her friend's house so she can go party. Where are the other kids? What's going on here? Are they with, are they with uh, Gabe? Is Lily with Gabe? Is that what's happening here? I don't, like, see, Jess fam shares, overshares about her life, but we don't know any of this stuff because Jess doesn't want you to know that stuff. That's interesting. Why well, she would go to the bar and get drunk and, you know, sleep around, do whatever she wanted, you know, living her life since she never got to, what she said. She was doing what she never got to do. Except it's all she ever did. This is like, here, okay, baby, I just need to live my life. I need to go get fake boobs and go party. That's the life I need. And you know what's going to happen in like five years when they've been like, you know, burnt out from that whole lifestyle and heartbroken a million times? Is they're going to regret every decision they made and they, they, they had something really good and then they just threw it all away because they're selfish. Family vlogging channels, men and women in these channels, all prove to all prove in every single way. There's not one that has not yet proven to me this, that they are so selfish. They care nothing. They care about nobody but themselves. Even their themselves trump their kids every single time. It's because, and you know how we know that it's because they exploit them for money. Um, when she was younger, but whose fault is that? You know what I'm saying? Whose fault? Whose fault is that for, for having kids young? Um, that's her fault. Yours too. Like, mine. Your, so I, it is your fault. I had kids young. I love my kids, but I had kids young. I wasn't ready. Have kids. Okay, it's still your fault though, bro. You still made this decision to do that stuff. If she tricked you, eh, you have legal recourse. I think I maybe not in California. You don't. Maybe guys, dads have zero rights in California. That's what it sounds like. But if someone tricks you into that shit. That's we need to talk about this more. That the the the, the women who are trapping men into having babies. This this is a thing. This is a thing. And men do it to women too. So I'm not saying it's it's not either way. It, it people do this and do crazy things to other people all the time. So. Uh, yeah, but you, you have a choice to make, right? You can use protection as well. Um, but again, if you are in disagreement and this thing that you expect to happen does not happen, I mean, that is not consent anymore. I just, I got to keep talking about that. Sounds like Jess fam surrounds herself with people, dudes generally who don't care about consent. Chris intensifies. You know what I'm saying? Stealing kisses from Janelle. That's SA. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how drunk you are. You can't do that stuff now. And you guys may not see it because of what she tells you. Um, I'm I'm different now. I don't I don't care to go out to the bars. I don't care to go out to the clubs. You know, um, I play slow pitch softball. You know, okay. I drink here and there. Um, have a beer here and there. I don't do any drugs. You know, I'm not an alcoholic. Um, <laughs> I work. Why don't you see your kids then? Because if Jess is right, and I actually believe Jess on this one, because this guy, where were you when your kids needed you? Remember, Jess said you dropped you off at a party with friends. And I'm not saying you're not alcoholic for that. I don't think that's, and you probably will say, look, I'm just, just me being a normal person. It's a lot of people go to barbecues and have drinks, even with the kids are there. I don't have, I got, I don't have a problem with that. You guys think I have a problem with that. The only problem I have is with single moms who drink around their kids because they are the only ones there to protect their kids. And if something goes wrong and you're inebriated, like that shit's dangerous. That's the only issue I have with drinking, right? Unless drinking is destructive and it, it, it it's chaos for your kids. That's another reason, obviously. But if you can drink, and be normal, and your kids have no negative experiences because of it, and you're safe, go for it. Party on, Garth. Do it. That's my only problem. Um, the whole thing with the child support is, yeah, I lost my job. It happens. Lost my job, so I was going through something temporary. You're deadbeat. Um, I told, I called the child support place, told them my situation. Hey, I lost my job. This is happening. This is it. Okay, whatever. Notifies me to get working again. Not working again. Notify them again. Hey, I'm working. This is what I'm working at. Then she complains. I never get child support because the child support takes forever to get papers going. It's like a three month process. I bet that's. You didn't pay child support. You're a deadbeat. That's the end of it. You figured away. Those kids, again, I, this is the one thing I, I'll never waver on. If you have children with somebody, I don't care if you don't have a job, you make shit happen for your kids. You go to the ends of the earth to make sure your kids are okay. Jess was probably making money on YouTube. And I think at one point Jess says you don't have to pay it anymore because she was making so much money that it didn't matter. But it doesn't matter. 
You, if you want to show your kids that you love them and there's this one thing you can do to help them, at least you got that under your belt. Hey man, I paid support. I loved you guys and I paid support so you guys could have this. Even though most people's child support checks go to like, not the children probably ever. I don't know. I don't pay child support. But, uh, you know, child support tends to not really go to kids. But it doesn't matter. You have a you have an obligation. Those are your children. You didn't do it. And he's trying to brush it off like it's like, oh, I couldn't do it. I just, I don't believe it, man. Like, I know I, I don't like both these people, but I'm not believing a word that's coming out of his mouth right there. Yeah, maybe you lost your job for a month or two. Didn't take six months to pay it back, though. And probably had to do back. You had to pay it all the way back. For them to get everything going and her taking money and all that, all that good stuff. But then she gets me with this new upgrade that she wants to up my child support. So now okay. it's taking even longer. So she's complaining, I never paid child support. I'm a deadbeat. Well, I don't give her money, but she makes like, you see all the followers she has. She makes a lot of money. I, if he would have, if he mentions right now what her follower count is, I'd probably give you guys a good enough ballpark. But she's over, if she's over 500,000, she's making eight figures. No kidding. If she's posting lots and lots of videos, making tons and tons of money. She doesn't need child support. It doesn't matter. Drake or Drizzle, whatever your name is. Uh, you still pay your child support. If you're contractually obligated by the courts to pay child support, it doesn't matter if they're millionaires. You pay your support. That's how you contain, that's how you retain your rights for your children. But you didn't pay it because she's making too much money. It doesn't matter. Maybe you can ask the courts to say, look, I don't make a lot of money. Can we revisit this? But that's where the courts don't give a shit either. And this, doing these videos. And she lives at home with her mom. Okay. So she was at home with her mom. So she was like, hey, mom, you know, I can't afford to make that much rent this month. Can I pay you this? Oh, yeah. You hear mom's going to kick her out. You guys know Wendy. You guys know Wendy. She's not going to kick her out. Wendy wears a fanny pack. Oh, yeah. Just because leave with all your kids. You can't make that. I can't do it. No. Heck no. If yeah. I don't make rent, I get evicted and I'm out. I don't live with my parents. I live with Natalie and Arabella. I she does, Natalie can't work right now. So I'm the only one working. I'm paying for all, everything. So he's got another baby mom with another daughter, which, by the way, would be the Landon and the twins' sister. They have a sister, a half sister, which do we think that they connect? I don't know. Hopefully. I don't know. That's This is so convoluted. Okay. So there's like seven kids in the mix here. Plus, I think now he has two kids. There's nine kids. Three of them are connected to these kids that he has. Two, and then the other ones are not connected. It's such a disconnect chaos. It's so chaotic. These kids, these kids are like lost kids. It's really sad. And I know Justin celebrates it, but that's just because she's selfish. That's not something to celebrate, everybody. That's not a good thing. To have so many baby daddies that your kids have different places they all need to go all the time. When they get older, they want to meet their, maybe they want to get closer to the dad and they want to leave this dad here. Then those, those kids separate because they want to go over here and do their own thing. That is not, that is not conducive to good parenting. I don't, again, that's maybe my traditionalism coming out, but that's just what I believe. All the, all the bills, you know, everything. And I don't like that Natalie's doing this this channel so this will not be up for that long only reason it's up right now is because i'm gonna make this video and then she's gonna do whatever she needs to do and then after that it's done oh so his baby mom has got a channel going on okay wow youtube youtube seems to be like the trailer park for like teen moms it just seems to be like the place where they go hey this is the way you get shit done go to youtube this is again they're encouraging each other to do it because they make money money drives everything they're not doing it to make memories everybody they're doing it to make bank no more of this um something else gosh there's so much stuff um she complains that i never see them and that i see for a certain amount of percentage of time well, we went over those texts in the video about her she's like he only sees them like two percent no fault that is because the percentage of time it's hers because she keeps wanting to lower and lower and lower my time to make me look more and more and more like a horrible father which is crap Nah, you're a horrible father <laughs> sorry Maybe a lawyer said this is how you do it. I don't know. Maybe she's trying to gain the system, but dude, you're not innocent in this. And he's trying to paint himself like he's like the, the dad of the year. Because I'm not. I love my kids. My kids love me. They know exactly who I am. They want to come over here, you know, and the whole thing with the haircut. Oh my gosh. Dude. Haircut. All it started over a haircut. What? Their hair was so raggedy. Kyson has cowlicks every which direction. All I did was cut their hair. Yeah. Kaden got some scratches. Let me see you cut a little kid's hair. It's three years old. Oh, is there like some video there where she, they came home scratched up from getting a haircut? 
I mean, Jess would absolutely use that. Of course she would. Um, that's kind of funny though. But maybe just take your kids to go get a haircut. How much is a haircut? Twenty bucks? Come on! You got like a thousand tattoos. You can't get your kids a haircut. It doesn't like clippers by his ear because of the sound. Let me see you not accidentally nip him. Yeah, that's easy to not do. Don't do it if they don't like it. What? Is this guy for real? It was an accident, people. An accident. I did not mean to do that. To this day, when I get a haircut, every now and again, I get a little nick. It happens. I don't. It's the clippers. I can't control that. I didn't. <laughs> it's the clippers. They're the ones cutting the hair. Not me controlling the clippers. I can't control. This guy's good. Wow. Jess fam. You know how to pick them. And do it on purpose. God. Um, it's another thing. Gosh, there's so much stuff. He tried to say, oh, she was so calm about the situation. And uh, I need to break that video down, don't I? That she's a great mother. Well, she had Landon in her arms, and Natalie right next to me with Arabella in her arms, she was screaming at me in front of everybody, in front of the kids, while she was holding Landon, screaming at me, saying I'm such a deadbeat dad, and, and this and that, and talking all this mess. When do I ever talk mess about her? Oh, you are now, but if she, if she, and you know what, I believe this, because we know Jess Fam is a person who loves confrontation. It's so funny that she did that video back in the day. One of the early ones I did of Just Family. She's like, I hate confrontation. And then it's like, then I got to fight with some randos at Panda Express and get in their face. Jess loves confrontation. She is someone who thrives in it. She's extroverted. She's someone who needs to be the center of attention. Obviously, she's. it's Jess's world. We all just live in it kind of thing. So I believe him that. I believe him when he says that. Fighting in front of the kids? Absolutely. Partying in front of the kids, drinking in front of the kids, all that kind of stuff. She does that. That is Jess fam. That is chaos ever on any of these sites, any YouTube, any Facebook, any IG, nothing. I don't post nothing. I don't do none of that. You don't post, um, any, you don't post anything. Gosh, what's, what's something else? I you don't post nothing? No. You don't post anything. Thanks, though. No, I felt like I just need to lay it all, hang out. Lay it out, buddy. Um, Let her hang! Sure she just acts like she's perfect. Okay, you said that. She's not. You said it's that. all these little girls who want to be like her. Yeah, don't do that. Trust me, you yeah. do not. Agreed. You do not <laughs> want to be like Jessica. Amen. That's the most, most truthful thing you said so far in this video. Agreed. Don't be like these people, little girls. Thank you. What you need to do is, all you little girls that are watching this video, you may get mad. Yeah, all you little 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever, however age you guys are watching this video, your parents need to get some damn parental locks on your YouTube because you should not be watching nothing that has to do with little babies. You shouldn't be thinking, thinking about babies. Mm -hmm. You guys should be thinking about, okay, am I going to, I got to graduate junior high. Mm -hmm. I seen some junior highs on here. You need to graduate high school and then go to college and then get a house and then or get a steady job then get a house. Then once you get everything figured out, then you start watching this shit. Then you start. Still don't watch it though, please. <laughs> Still, just don't. I think what you should say is just nobody should watch this shit because it's garbage. I realized, that, okay, you know, I can have a kid. You know, I've been with him, my uh, boyfriend, husband, fiance, for some odd years. I think it's time we got a house. You know, all that stuff. Do it the right way, not Agreed. the wrong way. Don't follow just because footsteps. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a teen mom. I want to have that fame. It doesn't do nothing. What? No one's gonna remember here. Remember Jessica or this or even this video. Freaking ten years from now, what's it gonna be? Nothing. It's just gonna be another video that was just one on the internet. Who cares? <laughs> the internet. Jessica's not who she seems she is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. She's manipulative. She's very, very evil. Okay, for one, she's evil. Okay. She's very evil. Um, Janelle said that too. Evil. There's a lot of people that would use the term evil. If there's more than one person who's willing to come on camera and say that Jess is evil, you know what I'm saying? I mean, can't take it for, you know, it is what it doesn't like evil is maybe not the right word. I would say just selfish. Selfish is one of those ones where it's like, it's everything over, you know, Jess over everything else. I don't consider that evil, selfish for sure. Greedy course and narcissistic. Sure. Confrontational. Sure. Evil. Hmm. 
Because I don't honestly think that Jess does the, like exploits her children to like get back at anybody to like say I'm going to do this because I hate my children. That's that's what I would consider evil. But I don't think that she can convince a snail that he's fast. Wow, that's sales tactics. Maybe she should be in sales. Jess, maybe she should be a real estate agent. She 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 says everything that she wants to say about me to people because. She thinks that I would I would never say anything. Well, I had enough. Ooh, T. The T. My family. Oh. Um, she bashes me. Um, bashes Natalie. She just she's not a great person. She's not. She's she's very wrong. Got that. In a lot of ways. Um, I can't even remember all the things she's done wrong. But she's not perfect. She'll never be perfect. She cares so much about what people think about her. It's ridiculous. Me, I can care less what people think about me. Okay. Okay there, dripstick. You do care, because why would you do this video if you didn't care? I don't give two shits about what people think about me. Okay. Um, I'm happy with my life. I love my kids. I love Natalie. I love my family. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a lot different now than I was back then when I was with her. I've grown up a lot. Um, just because you guys don't see me in her videos no more doesn't mean I'm doesn't mean I'm the same person I was then. Okay, so he was in, he was early in the videos too, so it'd be interesting. I wonder if she deleted those. Than I am now. I've learned a lot. She's done a lot to me, um, and she said a lot of things about me. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I wish I just would ask you guys, ask me a bunch of questions, just so I could answer, so I can go down the list and answer them all. Wow. Um, oh. When she was pregnant with Landon, um, I wasn't allowed to be there not because I didn't want to be. She told me I could not be in the room. Okay. Um, she also didn't tell me that he was born until five hours after he was born. Um, and Probably told you two before she told him. No kidding. I bet you she did. Then when I did go see him, I was only able to stay there with him for an hour, hour and a half. And then I was told to leave. Okay. Well... How do I feel about that? Because she doesn't want you there. She hates you. You hate her. You argue all the time. Why would she want your presence there? And she's got to be feeding him and everything else. So I sort of get it. Maybe you should just wait till the kid comes home and he's not going to remember that anyway. So I don't know. I can't blame Jess for that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, all in all, this is a video of her faults that she never seemed to tell you guys. The whole reason mm, okay. of us splitting up and everything. We split up because she's not, she wasn't for me. She's not perfect? Is she not perfect? Um, she's not right in the head. She's got some really bad issues mm -hmm. that she needs to figure out. She has some personal things. I mean, I'm not going to put it on here because it's just, I shouldn't. But she has some things that she needs to go to counseling for, figure out herself. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Chris is not the dad. He's not dada. He's he's a stepdad. He's he's just a guy that's there. Oh, he's talking about Chris about not being the real dad. Um, and you know what? Janelle actually talked about that too. That Chris doesn't. Chris favors the little one, his own. I think like the last one that Jess had, the little redhead one. Um, Chris is the only gets along with her. Doesn't parent the other ones. Just basically is the stepdad to them. Doesn't actually parent. Is lazy. Spends money when he's not supposed to, all that kind of stuff. We have had that confirmed. We, I, so we have to, you know, there's two people here that have confirmed that behind the scenes of Jess Fam that Chris isn't who he says he is, and he's just there for the ride, you know, m multiple ways, right? Getting cars, playing video games. All he has to do is really edit the podcast. That's like his whole job. And Jess lets him just kind of not do anything. Again, we know that that shit's not going to last. It's going to explode eventually. So Jess really is lost. I pretty much, I'm pretty sure Jess has lost everybody in her life she's really cared about. And anybody that's kind of new is more surface than it could be depth because of who Jess is. She probably doesn't trust anybody anymore because she, she thinks that she's in the right. And then she won't, she, I can't trust anybody anymore because they're just going to stab me in the back. When in reality, Jess is the one that stabbed them in the back. You know, that's like saying that my stepmom isn't a mom to me. That's, that's not true. She's my mom. Just like my mom is what? my mom. What? They're both my moms, but there is always one. You know, there's the, the one that had you, and there's the one that helps and raised you. Yeah, and generally the one that stepped up to raise you is the real one. 
like I say, the real one isn't like the one who stepped up. You know what I'm saying? Stepdads who do really good things with the kids. They look, I know Jess Femme says she has seven kids and everybody complains to her that, you know, those other two kids, you're not really their mom because you don't see them. She is technically their mom by law, but they don't live there at all. Like, let's say you're a stepmom and your kids live with you and you are their main mom forever. That's different than this. He's saying he's just kind of like, that's my kids. That's not the real dad. I get that. Like, I, I get it. My mom, both my moms, I love them to death. They both would do anything okay, for me. This is weird. They're great. I wanted to have, I wouldn't, I don't care if Chris is around the kids or anything. He seems like a decent guy, you know? But hopefully <laughs> he'll learn too. Uh, <laughs> Apparently not. I mean, if you get a free ride, hear me out. Your wife allows you to have threesomes, so you can choose women in your circles that you have crushes on, whatever, to come into the bedroom. Uh, you don't have to work. You're wealthy. You have houses. Uh, I wonder if there's prenups and everything else. I don't know. All he really is is the handyman around the house and he edits the podcast. If that is your whole life and you live wealthily, why would you ever throw that shit away? Right? You don't even have to cheat on your wife. Your wife allows you to bring other women into the bedroom. The guy has it good as far as the standards are of this debaucherous lifestyle. Why would he ever do anything to mess that up? Again, just living in the world. Because I'm, de- I'm getting a gag order gonna get a gag order enforced so she can't use my name anymore well i don't think that worked dude. <laughs> unless it did work and she just says baby daddy because she's not allowed to use your name but maybe it did work i don't know i highly doubt he did though i don't want my name i don't want my daughter's name i don't want Nally's name anywhere near these videos hey drizzy i don't know if you knew this either okay but uh if you want your kids off and you have some parental rights you have rights to get them off the YouTube channel if you really don't want them. But again, that's, I think that ship has sailed for some reason. He now supports Jess fam. I don't know why. Maybe she forgave all the back, whatever. I don't know. We don't know the real answer. We're probably not going to, because if he got a major benefit out of it, why would he ever give that up? Right. But there is, there are laws and strict things you can do to get those kids off the YouTube channels. It does, especially if you have, if you have, like, if you are in a custody dispute or if you're in a custody situation, YouTube doesn't mess with that. It does take lawyers. I mean, it doesn't work all the time, but there is things you can do. Um, she wants to keep exploiting our boys like that. Mm-hmm. I want you to point it. I want to point this out to you guys. He's using the word exploiting. This is before I even came on YouTube and talked about this or even discovered that this was exploitation. He was using that word years ago before I even started this. And that's on her. Mm-hmm. One reason I'm not doing that is because this that this right here, I guess, is her uh, source of income. So who am I to take my money from my kids when they're over there? It's a good point. She wants to take all the money she can from me, which is a load of bull because she makes like three times what I make. And you guys should way more. <laughs> she makes way, dude. She makes way more than that. Know that because of all the followers. You just do the math. You know, every year her followers get more and more and more. I think her checks go lower. They're going up. They're lower now, but they, yeah, she hit her peak and was probably pulling in 70, 80, hundred thousand dollars a month. I kid you not just bank. Nothing else to say. Um, Except there's another minute and a half. Done it. all I can. Um, oh, oh, the, he said he's always going to say, oh, except for this. She, okay. I had a best friend. I'm not going to say his name. They know who they are. Um, who would sleep? with your best friend just to get back at you. Yeah, he was wrong for doing it too. Is this a different one or is this the same one with the twins? What are we, what are you talking about? Is this another one? But Clarify, bro. Good. Yes, she did do that, people. She slept with my best friend. Oh, okay, okay, same one. With my best friend while my kids were in the next room sleeping. It's wrong. It's nasty. I mean, nasty. He said, so mom, okay. So this is different. This is after the kids are born. So this is another situation. She slept with another guy, my best friend while my kids were sleeping in the next room. So this is another best friend. He just did. So that's two people that just famous slept with her best friends, husbands or boyfriends. That's two. How do you live with yourself after doing something like that? And then like, go on like you're perfect. How do you portray yourself? When you've done like the egregious things again, he's done it too. Don't get me wrong. But how do you just, do you just like, I would be so, I would feel so guilty. I don't even know what I would do. I would so, I had a dream once I cheated on my wife and I was like, I felt 
so guilty. I was like, oh my God, it's one of those, you know, those vivid dreams. And you're like, oh man, I used to have dreams where I used to smoke cigarettes and I wake up so angry because they were like, they're real, like the vivid ones. But like, I couldn't live with myself if I did something crazy like that. Like, I just don't understand how people can just willy nilly throw that shit away like that. Unbelievable. I'm hearing it out there. It is what it is. She brought this upon herself. Mm -hmm. um, she did. You That's guys true. Stay fans of hers. Stay fans. I don't care. They, and they did. <laughs> do what y'all need to do. Um, this is it. I told you. I told you about everything I can remember at this point. I'm sure there's more. Remember, she's not. Who she says head. she's she's bad. Yeah, not perfect. Yeah, really wrong. She's, she's terrible. Nasty. Nasty. Head's wrong. Any type of form. Just use your head, people. Common sense. Yeah, well, I agree Don't with bow that. Bow down to her. Don't let her convince you. Okay. Of everything. All right. Well, I'm gonna okay. go. I gotta sleep. I gotta go to work tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Um, Y'all have a good night. Enjoy the video. Later. Sir, this is uh, Wendy's. <laughs> I had, that, I had that in my head the whole time. Well, that was a little bit eye-opening. Wow. If I am again, take everything he says with a grain of salt. That's his truth. So he gets to say it. Jess has her truth, and she does say it too. These people have conflicting truths, I guess. So it's just a matter of what you want to do. I want I tend to believe some of the things he said and other things which is like trying to make himself look good about like child support and things like that. Like you get it. But why does why is he why would he have a reason to lie about the other things? He's not a social media star. He doesn't have to use social media to make money. Jess has to protect that for herself. So and it's interesting that if he's telling the truth, and again, he might not be, but sleeping with his best friend during while pregnant with the twins to get back at him with his best friend's, with her best friend's husband, and then sleeping with his best friend or something is what he said the second time when their kids are born in the other room. And isn't she living with her mother? Does her mother just let her bring dudes into the house? I mean, just, is there rules? I don't know. It's just icky all around because, again, I grew up in that chaos, in the men, the rotating men through the house, and the and the, and the the parties and the drinking and, like, the, 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 the arguing and the fighting and all that kind of stuff. I grew up with a mother like that. And everybody's like, oh, Josh, you have mommy issues, so you can't talk about this. I mean, F off. Because I have grown up with that, I absolutely can talk about it because I can see what those kids are going through. The whole point of that is, is that these kids don't have a voice, okay? They are going through the shit. If this guy is right about what happened, those kids have tr have massive trauma already, okay? So because I have lived that, I have experienced it, I can have the voice on it. If you haven't, you don't get the voice on it, okay? So maybe I have mommy issues, cool beans. But all that does is give me an insight into what our kids are actually going through. So anything, my opinion should be held higher than those who have not gone through that. Like you can, everybody is entitled to their opinion, but if you haven't gone through trauma as a child, and I think a lot of my followers, as I'm telling my story, have gone through the same thing. And we have that same heart for these kids. I think maybe that's a reason that I've grown as big as I've grown because people are starting to realize that what we've seen, we're trying to protect these kids from, right? As much as we can by calling them out. I don't know if it's going to help them, but Jess needs to get help. Clearly, clearly never did. Never had the person in her life that was her mom clearly didn't teach her shit. Right? Just let her do what she wanted to do and party and all that kind of stuff. Jess is not an example of how to be a good person. And he said that a million times. And I'm saying that now. Jess is not a role model. And the fact that she's an influencer to teenagers is a scary thing. And that's why we talk about this. That is really, that's dangerous. There's no other way to say that. That shit is dangerous. Allowing these people to be influencers. Because they do influence people. They do. Change my mind. Take a deep breath. This is a good one. So I'm pretty sure that Drake is pissed that this video is out there still and probably would likely say, oh, I would have changed everything I said, but he was telling his truth. Unless he comes out and says all that was a lie. We have Jess's truth. We have Drake's truth. And now we have the middle where we're kind of trying to decide. So decide for yourself. What do you think below? Jess right? Drake right? Are they both right? Are they both wrong? What do you think? Anyway, thanks for being here today, everybody. I really appreciate you. Hope you like my shirt that I'll never, you'll probably never see again. Let's do another Just Fan video, maybe. Um, it's shiny. See the shine? <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you for being here, and thank you for being amazing and valuable. Don't you ever forget it, you beautiful, beautiful people. See you tomorrow.